Hello everyone and welcome to another video. Now we've taken a look at NVIDIA's GeForce Now game streaming service before. Um, it comes in handy when we need to test old graphics cards that don't quite have the grunt to perform well with newer games. Basically if you don't know NVIDIA's GeForce Now is a subscription cloud based gaming service. You can pay about a fiver here in the UK monthly or you can actually um, use it free providing you don't mind a one hour session at a time to play all of your favorite games on one of Nvidia's super fast computers you know somewhere out there in the world and then the footage gets streamed essentially back to your screen so if you don't have a very powerful rig it's ideal if you don't mind spending the money and you own the games on say Steam or you play already. So one of the big downsides for me regarding GeForce Now is that it wasn't available on iPhone or iPad. As an iOS user, this was a little bit disappointing because this is a sort of service that would have been ideal for on-the-go gaming on perhaps the small iPhone screen. That has since changed, however, because although Apple don't allow these cloud gaming apps on the App Store because they said in a statement, I believe something about they can't review each individual game that's within the cloud gaming app or something, so it goes against their terms and conditions. There is now a workaround that involves Safari, and I think this is how other companies plan to bring their cloud gaming services to iOS as well. So basically, I thought we'd take a quick look at this today, review the service on iPhone, see if it's just as good as it is on the PC. And uh, yeah, let's jump straight into it. So installing this on the iPhone can be done through Safari. This is all legitimate, it comes straight from Nvidia themselves. You go to play.geforcenow.com, install a shortcut to your homepage on the iPhone, and once that is on your homepage, you click on it and it brings it up in the traditional app style, you know, so it's as if you've installed it from the app store, but of course you've gone through Safari, the iPhone's built-in browser, to get it. Now once you're in, you can log in as usual, and what's great about the iPhone is that you can pair a DualShock 4 PS4 controller with it straight away. I think this is the same with Xbox controllers and Android devices as well, but the service has of course been on Android, I think, for a lot longer. Now what's great about this smaller screen here, I have the iPhone 8, so it's uh, a much smaller screen than my 20 four inch PC display is that the games look a lot more detailed even if you're running it at the same streaming resolution. I think on the iPhone here and with my free plan you can stream it up to 60 FPS with 1080p and on this small display it looks pretty good and pretty crisp. The response time with the controller is also decent as well. Um, game pads are only supported at the moment, no keyboards and mice according to Nvidia but you know that's okay I was able to fire up Half-Life 2 a great looking game for the time it came out on the iPhone here through Steam and GeForce Now and this ran very nicely indeed. It, it looked pretty decent, it still looks very nice and I can imagine just sitting on a train perhaps for a long journey and providing you've got good 4G or 5G signal or you can connect to Wi-Fi on a train then yeah, it, it seems like it would be ideal in one of those situations. The Witcher 3 is one game I've had a problem with on PC, and that seems to be the case here as well. There are some sort of latency problems, some stuttering. This might be due to the hardware on Nvidia's end, because of course this is streamed back from one of their systems, so I don't really understand what the matter is here. But after, say, two minutes or so, the game irons out all of its issues and then play resumes quite smoothly. So I don't know if it's just assets loading in or anything like that, but whether I test this on iPhone or PC, uh, I do get a few initial stutters, but aside from that, yeah, it looks pretty good. The final game I tested was actually the newly released Assassin's Creed Valhalla. I've been having a great time with this on PC, and I'm glad to see that it's made its way to GeForce Now through Uplay, um, along with Watch Dogs Legion. Assassin's Creed Valhalla looks very, very nice. It runs with about medium or high settings by default through GeForce Now. You can still adjust the settings, I believe, in the uh, game's options, and, you know, tailor things to how you want to see them. On this small display it's not really worth messing around with the settings so much because you know you can't see a great deal of what's going on if you are playing on an iPhone. This is better for those more simple games in my opinion. Um, in games like Assassin's Creed where you've got a lot going on on the screen, you've got a lot of little notifications, it can be harder to see what you're up to but this is where something like the iPad would come in handy. All in all my GeForce Now experience on iOS devices has been pretty satisfying and to be honest I can see myself sitting in the living room in the evening putting the iPhone 
on the stand in front of me and just playing a few games when I can't be bothered to turn on the PC. Very lazy, I know, but I'm glad to see it works here, and I'm glad to see that it can be installed straight through Safari. So I'd recommend giving it a go if you have an iOS device and you don't have a PC that's capable enough to run these games. Of course, you will need to own these titles, though, through Steam or your chosen platform. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed this one, leave a like down below. Leave a dislike if you didn't. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. And in the next one, I think we'll be reviewing the... Ryzen 4350G APU, an APU that's quite hard to come by, but one that was quite impressive, to be fair.